Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is clear timer? I have a small little example here. We're going to cover the clear and invalidate timer by handle node. Now, there is are two different clear timer nodes. There is a clear and invalidate by handle and the clear timer by function name. As far as I'm aware of, Epic will be deprecating and removing the by function names and they recommend you use the by handle version. So we will only be handle covering the by handle. The by handle is also generally safer because you can keep track of your timers better. So the clear and invalidate timer by handle node is basically how you stop a timer once it's started and you prevent it from continuing. For our example here, if I hit play, we have a do something button. When we click it, basically it's a health regen. Every one second, it's going to add one to our health. Now, if we wanted this to stop when the player went into combat, for example, if it was only a passive regen and not active, we'd have to have some way of stopping it or even pausing it. Well, we're covering stopping in this case. Well, our stop button does nothing. It does nothing because we don't have anything hooked up. So our clear and, validate, clear and invalidate timer by handle node is pretty simple. You just plug in the handle from whatever timer you want to stop, and it will stop it. Now down here, after I've started up my timer, the output is a timer handle. And I've saved that to the timer handle variable. If we go ahead and drag that back in and get it, and hook it up, and then hook up our button itself. Now when we run this, we're going to go ahead and see our timer count down well our timer run and increase and if we hit the stop button it's going to go in find that timer clear it out and invalidate it make sure it's not a valid timer anymore and it's no longer going to run if we hit do something again our timer starts again fresh saves itself as the variable and of course i can stop it again so as you can see this is useful when you want a timer to run temporarily and then when you're done with it you can go ahead and clear it and it will be done. That is it. That is going to cover the clear and invalidate timer by handle node.